Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. I am doing a demo of the H96 Pro 4K Android TV box. Looking forward to sharing with you some of the programming. This is the Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So it is one of the later platforms available for the Android TV box. So they're getting better and better. This has got 16 gigabytes of flash storage space. So you got plenty of space and you can even go further than that. Uh, so I will go through and share with you some of the programming. One of the things to just be aware is uh, some of the programming, some of the apps, be cautious of what you go into. I myself actually went into an app and watched one of the videos and it brought up a, uh, an alert to my cable company and they notified me. So just be careful. Some countries have stricter laws. So when you're using these boxes, keep in mind some of the programming that you're watching uh, to, um, you know, be care more cautious about. So just wanted to give you that uh, for warning. Uh, but uh, generally, these boxes are great. I mean, there's a lot of free content that is safe and legal to watch. Uh, and as far as replacing my cable box, I think this is a good supplement. The uh, Android box, I don't know for me that I would say that it's a full replacement of my cable box, but certainly plenty of programming. So there you go. This is the H96 Pro 4K Ultra HD TV box. And there we go. We've got two USB connectors, the SD card. Now, by the way, for USB, one of the things to think about is getting a ex uh, external keyboard and mouse so that you can use it or get one of the mini keyboards that uh, with the trackpad it just makes it a lot easier so in addition to the the remote control uh, like this one uh, it's a lot easier to get around although this uh, remote has a little bit more capability but again I find that uh, there's times when I use this and a lot of times I find that I would prefer to use uh, a regular mouse and keyboard then on the back we've got the uh, Ethernet port the HDMI and the power and then we've got two more uh, USB ports. So there you go for the box. You've got obviously the power cable, the uh, HDMI cable, standard HDMI cable, uh, and the user manual. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna dive in, take a peek at the programming, and then I'll share with you some of the highlights so you can know what to expect uh, on this box. Obviously there's a lot more that you could download, but this will at least give you an idea of what's on the box without having anything downloaded. All right, so let me go ahead and set up, play with it for a little bit, and then I will share with you the highlights. Here we go. Okay, so we are in the Android box. We're at the main menu, so you can see on the top left, you got Kodi, YouTube, Google Play. You can log into your Google account. Uh, I have not logged into my Google account. Uh, I just for demo purposes to share with you what to expect. Uh, I'm just gonna share with you some of the highlights. Your files are your files. Music, you can add uh, apps within uh, the music section. So if you wanted to add something to do with uh, music, so we'll go ahead here, music. You click on that and then if you back out, uh, it should add music, so there you go. So. We have next settings where you have all your different settings, your clock, you can change it from 24 to, to normal time, keyboard, playback, settings, power definition, more settings language. You have games. In games you can, uh, again, add an app within games. In video, you can add video type of apps. Browser is a regular browser, so you can type in anything you want. And so I'm going to go up here. And as I mentioned, I'd recommend getting something like a mini keyboard trackpad like that. So then you can move much easier around. As you can see, I'm moving the mouse much, much easier instead of typing one button at a time. So I'm going to do, we'll go to ESPN. ESPN. I'm going to double click on that. So you can see very quick, I'm also running on my ethernet connection and there is the ESPN browser and then you could scroll down and again, do all your web surfing on here. So that is the browser. I'm gonna go back, go home. All right, and then in apps, 
We've got App Installer, Browser, Cartoon HD. It's not cartoons, they're actually videos and then or movies that you can come in, you can click on them and watch. Again, I would just caution you when you, depending where you live, to know that um, you know some of these movies are, uh, you know, is it legal to do? So just be cautious when you are actually going into these uh, videos. But uh, you've got these movies in here on the top right. You've got search and filter, so you've got that up here. So that's within uh, Cartoon HD. You got Facebook. You can log into Facebook file browser. If you've got files on local disk and you put them on to the box, you can do that. Go Live are different other programs, Animal Planet, Movies, Discovery, Nickelodeon, Hollywood. So you have uh, these other programs here as well. So next up is Mobdro. And in Mobdro you've got different categories. You've got channels. So you can go into channels here and then you can just scroll down to see all the different channels. You can next go to these different categories. So you've got news, shows, movies, and then in movies you've got different types of movies. Movies, action movies, horrors, animation, documentary, and whatever is playing during that time you can watch. So one thing that I noticed by the way in Madro is that you might need to do an update because initially I couldn't get any of the programming to work but now everything seems to be loading properly and if you're into sports and you could watch different sports programming so you got a, a lot of different programming in here as well so again you got news shows movies sports music gaming animals tech podcast spiritual and others and then if you come up here to the top left corner you've got favorites recently watched downloads and then you've got that as well for your settings uh, within Mobdro. And then you have Movie Player, Music, Netflix. If you have your Netflix account, you can log into there. Your Play Store, uh, some of the others. Uh, this is UK TV, Fire Stick, so it looks like you would need to uh, log into your account here. You could log into Twitter. Uh, if you want to do a wireless update, you can. Okay, Wukong Remote is very cool. This allows you to download the app to control with your phone. So here I could actually move around my screen as you can see. Uh, it also will allow me to go into mouse mode. So you could see I can move my mouse around as well. And then it also has touchpad mode and then also keyboard mode. So very, very cool. Now if I want to go in there, we'll click on it and then you'll see uh, there is a QR code that you could download and then install this app on your phone and then you would not really need this remote control. You would have everything right there on your smartphone and uh, very, very cool. So that is what Wukong uh, remote is for. Next up is YouTube. YouTube, as you can see, is YouTube that you have the ability to come in here and watch any of these videos or you can actually do a search so if I wanted to search which I have a YouTube channel I can type in my YouTube channel and let's see if that comes up Oop. it looks like I need to go back here there we go it actually found me let me click on that there is my channel and there we go you can see it's not letting me scroll down but we can go here into videos and then there are the videos and then for some reason I cannot scroll down but you should be able to we got playlists also channels uh, but there is uh, YouTube there uh, you can uh, watch all the uh, YouTube videos you want right there uh, through the box. Okay, next up is Cody, version 17. So on the left there, you can see we got movies, you got TV shows, your library is empty in order to populate that. You'd have to add, you got music, 
uh, you can add these different sections, your favorite, and add-ons. We've got video, music, program, Android apps. So you can go into the different sections of, for video, for example, these are all different uh, video add-ons for music. You can see here we've got uh, several different apps as well for programs, same thing, and Android apps. So that is within Kodi. So that's the highlight of this Android box, the 4K box. As you can see, there is a ton of programming. Uh, the nice new addition with the Wukong remote. So let me know if you have any questions. And again, just uh, you know, proceed with caution depending upon what app you go into. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.